Good morning, Ruby. Is that your tray? Yeah, these little pomegranates melt and they leave speckles. What you doing? Not wearing pants. That's it. You want daddy? Alright, let mommy get you down. You want down? It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Hi. Did you find your daddy? Did you find your daddy? What's daddy doing up here? Getting ready for work. Ooh, are you barely awake? Did you change his pee pee yet? Yeah. Okay. He smells like pee pee. I know, he probably needs it changed again. Good morning. Good morning. What do you have for your daddy? Were you saving that in your mouth? <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Whoa! 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 I just finished this book, and I know it's um, a couple years old, like, but my friend Melissa just gave it to me, and it is good! I can't believe I waited so long to read it. Um, I have so many thoughts about it. And it was really, really, really good. If you guys haven't read this, um, I think everyone should read it. I'm going to add it to the, my high school curriculum uh, for homeschooling and make every one of my kids read this, probably in like ninth grade or 10th grade or something. It's a really good book. Lunch time! Ruben's having some peas and butternut squash. Peas and squash. <laughs> I'm going on a play date today with my friend Melissa at, I'm meeting her at 3.30. That means I need to find time to shower somewhere in here. Hopefully when Ruben goes to sleep. If he takes a nap today at 12, mommy will shower. Mommy will shower. Shower the mommy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mommy's having leftover curry for supper. I'm just going to eat it right out of the jar. Hey guys, so I didn't, didn't vlog over the weekend, last weekend, just because Friday night my husband and I had a really big fight and we just needed a few days to just relax and de-stress over it. And I mean everyone fights. But we have this ongoing issue that we've thought about for, hmm, I would say our entire marriage. It comes up every few months and it's about the nope room, which I made a video about it. Um, I'm always like, why haven't you cleaned this room? And he's always like, he needs more time or he would clean it if I wasn't nagging him about it all the time or it's just a room. we. I don't know. I only know my side of the story, and I'm such a type A person that I would have cleaned the room years ago. And he is the kind of person that he can't do things when he's stressed. Um, I don't know. It's just an ongoing fight in our household, and 
one day it will be clean. So I'm trying not to worry about it. It just, it stresses me out sometimes. I think about how, like, I wish that the, the nope room was functional and we have a shed out back now. We got a shed that's supposed to be storage for my husband. And I guess I just think if he would let me clean it, it's in, in this room, by the way, which is locked. If he would let me clean it, it would be done. But I feel like his OCD and his fear of me breaking things or not putting things in the right spots or whatever is keeping him back from letting me clean the room, which that's probably part of it. But he just says that he wants to do it because it's all his stuff and he knows where it goes and everything. And he's afraid I'll throw things away, which to be honest, some of that stuff needs to be thrown away. But it's not my stuff, it's his stuff. And I need to let him handle it. And it's just an ongoing fight in our marriage. And last weekend, it was a pretty big one. And it's going to be okay. Everything's fine now. We're both over it. Um, I just needed to relax this weekend and not vlog when there was already some tension in our household. So, yeah. I hope that stupid room gets clean one day. Did you make a big mess? I ended up giving him some of my curry. And, um, you made a big mess. Mommy's going to need to change your shirt again. Mm -hmm. At least he likes curry. You're such a good baby. You eat everything most of the time. Most of the time you eat everything. Is that correct? Most of the time you just eat everything. You're such a good baby. You say, Mommy, I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm a Reuben. And I'm almost two. Oops. Did I hit you with the spoon? Mmm. Peas. Peas, peas, peas. Please feed me peas. Peas, peas. Mommy doesn't want me, but thank you. Now I just hope that you take a nap. You want to take a nap? 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 Are you tired? Are you going to nap for Mama? Yum, yummy, yummy, do. Yum, yummy, yummy, do. All right, let's clean you up, mister. Well, I'm all dressed and ready to go on Ruben's play date. But first, I'm going to try to tidy up around here so when I get back, everything's all clean and I can just cook dinner. We got Ruben and Steve in the car, and Ruben is reading a book about Queen Esther. Hey. You reading a book? Yeah. <laughs> we want one of those bikes for Ruben. They're so fun. Gabriel got a big boy bike, but he still likes this one better. It's lunchtime at the Marky House. You can't have any of that. And I'm gonna give Ruben some leftover spaghetti. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. You want some leftover spaghetti? First of all, you're going to need a food scepter. Here is Ruben's food scepter. Then we're going to need some spaghetti and a plate. Let's see if Ruben will eat all this spaghetti. I have no idea how much he'll eat. 
Mm hmm It's food for Rudin. Looks about good. Okay. Food for Rubin, and I definitely need to roll your sleeves up. Here's what I made Daddy for lunch. This is gluten bread with some bacon, cheese, and then tomatoes with spinach. Not spinach, mayonnaise on them. What's wrong with Mom today? Her words aren't working. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up. Clean up. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. I hope you like your lunch. Ruben can't eat your lunch. <coughs> no lunch for you. Well, actually, I already fed him. So he just can't have daddy's food. Yeah, dinner. It's dinner, supper, I don't know. I said the wrong word. It doesn't matter. <gasps> Ring around the rosy. Don't push him too high. Are you swinging?